This is part three of our teaching that we're doing. On uh, we we titled this "Do You Believe the Love That Yahuwah Has to You?" And uh, the uh, we're going to go back and just read our our found foundation verse that I uh, basing this teaching on. It's found in First John chapter four, verse sixteen. It says, "And we have known and believed the love that Yahuwah has to us." And we have known and believed. And I share with you, you know, it's, it's one thing to, to know the love of Yahuwah when you are born from above and you have received the Mashiach. You've been told that Yahuwah loves you and so forth. But it's a different thing of progressing in that belief of how much Yahuwah loves you. It's so important. You know, I, I could, you know, you could be around someone and they could tell you they loved you, but love is is something that is always something that you have to continually convey to someone you don't say to your say your husband or your wife that you or your even your children for that matter that you love them and you said at one time and that's all that that's that you ever do and it's not just words either it's it's actions in other words you demonstrate that love every day that you're around those that you that you're that you're with and unfortunately, because we are in this fallen flesh of ours, even though we may have been born from above, we have the Ruach, the life of Yahuwah in us. But a lot of times we, because of the weakness of the flesh, we may not walk in love toward others, or we may not demonstrate that love to them as we should. But the point I'm trying to make here is that it's love is something that... that as far as you believe in the love that someone has for you is a continuous thing that you see it demonstrated to you or that it's revealed to you that love and we're not just talking about feelings here we, even though that's involved in it but it's more of their actions and what they have done for you or do for you in other words they show you that love it's demonstrated to you well in the same manner, Yahuwah has demonstrated his love. And, and the more understanding that we have through the scriptures of his love for us, we see it demonstrated toward us. And the more that, more that you're developed in that knowledge of, of how much you are loved, not only, not only are you able to love others because of that, so you're able to really, you think about it for this, for this, when you have such a confidence and assurance that you're loved by our Creator and that He loves you so much and that He has given His only begotten Son that whosoever believes in Him should not perish but have everlasting life. And it also says, I'm going to read something over in Romans chapter 8 for, uh, for you. Um, if you'll go, if you have your Bible or look at this up later and read this because it's, it's such a powerful verse. There's actually a few verses here that I want to read to you. Uh, and uh, it's in Rome, found in Romans chapter 8, verse 31. It says, Paul or Shoal writing here, says, What shall we then say to these things? If Yahuwah be for us, who can be against us? Now verse 32 is really what, what I want to focus on. He that spared not his own son, but delivered him up for us all, how shall he not with him freely give us all things? Wow. <laughs> these two verses here, I can tell you, this, they're powerful. What shall we say then to these things? If Yahuwah be for us, who can be against us? When you realize that the creator of the universe is for you. In other words, he's on your side. He he wants you, not only wants you to make it. <laughs> he has made provision for you to make it. You know, Yahuwah is not trying to keep you out of heaven. Yahuwah is not trying to keep you out from being part of his family. No, he's doing everything he can to get you in. <laughs> and he already has made provision for us. He's for us. And which, when you have that understanding of that, and that revelation says that who can be against us? In other words, who can successfully, you know, stop us or, you know, or, or hinder that when you know that who's for you? 
when you have that revelation and understanding that the Creator is for you. And then it says in verse 32, He that spared not his own son. In other words, what, what, what are you worth? What price? You know, a lot of people, that's their problem. They, they have very little self, you know, uh, uh, feel like any kind of worth at all. In other words, that there's nothing special about them. Well, there may not be in your, just in your natural ways that you live and so forth, anything special about you in that regard. But you're special unto Yahuwah because you're his creation. He brought you into this world for a reason. Uh, as I mentioned in our last session, that we, are, we were created to bring, bring pleasure to Yahuwah. Why? Because his love, he wants to demonstrate his love towards you. Because he is love, he has a need in order to, to share that. <laughs> you know, Yahuwah has needs. Yeah, he has, love. he has a need to love because he is love. You know, one of the things that and we're created in the image and likeness of Yahuwah. That's why you, as a person, you have the need to love somebody and to be loved. Well, Yahuwah is the same way. He, ha he, he has a need to love and to be loved. There's nothing wrong with that. <laughs> We're created in his image and likeness. So you have a need to be loved and also to give love, to love others. But when you see here that he that spared not his own son, in other words, you were so special to Yahuwah. Mankind, the, the scriptures declares that um, in, in the book of Romans here, in, 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 in I can't remember what chapter it is, but Paul says that in that while we were yet sinners, the Mashiach died for us. In other words, it wasn't because we were so special that he decided that, you know, in our own, say, righteous acts and so forth, that, that we measured up to some point where Yahuwah died for us. No, even while we were yet sinners, in other words, even as we were children of Shatan, we, we were spiritually related in a spiritual sense to Satan, to Shatan. It says that, that uh, you know, that we were by nature in the book of Ephesians. You'll find this in chapter, I believe chapter 2 says, we were, uh, you know, by nature children of wrath. Because we were spiritually related because of Adam's fall, he spiritually became united with Shaitan. He became a child of the devil. And we, as his offspring, inherited that nature. But the scriptures declares, for as in Adam, all men die, but in Mashiach, Messiah, shall all shall be made alive. <laughs> oh, wow. See, he that spared not his own son, but delivered him up for us all. Now listen to the rest of this verse. How shall he not with him also freely give us all things? <laughs> In other words, when we come to Yahuwah and we pray and we, we have a need, it's, it really, this is a revelation, an understanding that, that you can have confidence that if it's, you know, if it's something that you're praying about, and it's a good thing. You know, Scripture declares that every good gift and every perfect gift is from above. And this is, it's important that when we pray in faith, we can have faith that this is a good thing that Yahuwah wants you to have. And you have revelation and understanding of that. Then you can pray with confidence, knowing that he will give it to you freely. Because if he didn't spare his own son, how shall he not with him also freely give us all things? See, you, you might be in a position where, you know, there's things that are, that, that you don't know, you know, that, that, Let's say something about your own family or your children. And, and, you know, like say your child is attacked with some kind of sickness. Well, you know for sure that Yahuwah doesn't want your child to be sick. The scriptures declares that, that, that uh, Yahusha went about doing good, Acts 10, 38, and healing all that were oppressed of Shatan. Sickness is an oppression of the enemy. And Yahuwah, Yahusha went about doing good, healing all all that were oppressed. You won't find anywhere in the scriptures Yahusha turning anyone away from physical healing. That's an expression of his love and his will. 
do you know when the centurion came down to Yahushua and said, My daughter lieth at the point of death. Come and pray. Lay your hands on her that she may be healed. And you, what did Yahushua do? Well, he went. The leper that came to, to Yahushua, Mark chapter 1 said, If you will, you can make me clean. <laughs> what did Yahushua say? I will. <laughs> be clean. <laughs> See, you know, I think about my own children. There's no way that I want my, my children to bear sickness and disease. Well, neither does our Heavenly Father want you and I to bear sickness and disease in our bodies. Why? Because He loves us. See, you might say, well, if He loves us, then why does He allow it to happen? Listen, si sickness is in the earth because of man's rebellion and fall. Satan is, is the one who instigates that and pushes that upon mankind. We may open doors of, of, up to him in our lives, but we can, we can also receive the provision that's been made by the Mashiach. By his stripes, 1 Peter 2.24 says, by his stripes we are healed. The provision in, in, in Isaiah chapter 53 says, surely he has borne our sicknesses and carried our pains. This is part of the atonement, was the physical healing of our bodies. I don't know, I'm focusing on that right now. Maybe someone out there that needs to hear this, that you're hearing this for the first time, that it's Yahuwah's will that you be healed and raised up. You've got to know that. You can't receive that healing power of Yahuwah unless, unless you have that revelation and that understanding that, that not only is it his will that you be raised, raised up, but that he has already made provision for you. And then how do you attain to that? It, all the promises that we receive from Yahuwah have to be received by faith. Without faith, it's impossible to please Him. For he that comes to Yahuwah must believe that He is, and that He is also a rewarder of those who diligently seek Him. For by grace are we saved through faith. For by favor, if you don't like the word grace, for by favor are we saved through faith. Through faith, through faith, faith in what? Faith in his word that he's made provision for us. That's how we attain unto it, is through faith. And the revelation of how much you are loved by Yahuwah is the greatest source of you being able to have faith for what you're coming to him for. When you know that you know that you know that you are loved by Yahuwah, then you can come boldly to the throne of grace that you may obtain mercy and find his grace or favor to help you when you ha in time of a need. I share with you all my children, when they were growing up, they, they came boldly to me about things they needed. They weren't being disrespectful, but they had such a confidence, and they, the confidence was built because they were assured of my love for them. They knew I loved them, and they know I love them today. Well, it's the same with Yahuwah. The more we know Him, and it takes you and I getting a, a knowing Him, and, and the only way you can know Him is through His Word. And by the Spirit, by the Ruach, giving a revelation of how much you are loved. And then you can come boldly to Him and say, Father, I have need of this, and I just call upon you to help me in this. He is ever ready. He's a present help in time of need. <laughs> wow. Well, thank you for your time today. We'll pick this up on part number four. There's still a whole lot more to say. Share this with others, especially with those that are having a hard time believing that Yahuwah loves them. Share this with people that are under a lot of guilt and condemnation. They need to know, and we're going to get into this, about how that our sin, that, that Yahuwah wants us to walk free from a guilty conscience. Have our conscience pured, purified because we know that we are forgiven. And that we are loved regardless, even when we, even after we're born from above, even when we do sin and fall. He said in 1 John 1, 9, that if we confess our sins, he's faithful and just to forgive us and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Oh, what a verse. See, even after you've born from above, if you still fall in and miss it, that you can cleanse yourself of that unrighteousness, that, that, that condemnation. Is, is if you'll acknowledge your sin, he is faithful and just to forgive you. And then you can just walk in that, 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 that freedom of knowing that you're accepted before him. We'll pick this up next, next time. 
Have a great day. Shalom.